Russian and Ukraine crisis is still unfolding and on the other side thousands of parents in India are worried because their children are still stranded in Ukraine. Today, the Indian Medical Association has written a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi asking him to intervene and bring back the medical students who are stranded in Ukraine. We are joined by IMA Financial Secretary, Dr. Anil Goyal. So first of all, what is the content of the letter? What exactly have you demanded from the Prime Minister? What we are demanding that uh, to allay the fears uh, of the parents who are in India, uh, their boys, students, boys, girls, they should be brought back immediately. Because as we know in the Kharki, 3,000 to 4,000 medical students are in, in the metro stations. That's uh, one point. Secondly, then there is an issue of they have uh, no money now or they have very meager amount of money. Third part is that uh, whatever they were getting in 10, say, 10 local currency, now they are getting in 120 local currency. So obviously they are running out of the options for the food, they are running out of the, uh, the issues of security. We have also heard that uh, maybe few of the medical students have been injured in shelling. So there is an issue of security, there is an issue of their food, there is an issue of uh, staying there in an insecure environment. So we want that they should be brought back to India immediately. And I think uh, yesterday also our Foreign Secretary Harsh Shanglaji said that uh, they are arranging uh, flights, special flights from Delhi to right. Kiev, right? So that is one part. Secondly, we have also uh, said that whatever financial assistance they need should be immediately provided to them uh, in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, we are also saying that a, a help desk should also be established in uh, foreign ministry so that uh, whatever uh, queries, whatever fears of uh, parents are there, mm -hmm. they can be allayed and they can be alleviated and uh, then ultimately they have to be brought back they need to be brought back. Sir, I also want to understand how is IMA assessing this situation? Have you been in touch with the medical students who are stranded in Ukraine right now? And how serious is this situation as per IMA? I think it's a very, very serious situation. Not only we are talking to the students stranded there, we are also talking to the students who have come back from there. There are uh, boys and girls who have come back recently in two, three days, four days back after the 16th of Feb, when Indian Embassy there uh, issued a red flag notice that you need you should leave, and within days the, all the flights were full, and now the airspace is now blocked. The Ukrainian airspace is blocked, so the special efforts has to be made by the government of India, with the Ukraine government and also with the Russian government, so that they can be brought back. And, Are you and satisfied with the efforts that has been made so far by the government? No, I think this is a very, very uh, this un this is unfolding very, very rapidly, very, very rapidly and at at an alarming pace. So, as uh, uh, I said on 16th, they issued a red flag and lots of students had come back. But yes, lots lots are stranded also. So, only question is now. Uh, as Harshinglaji said yesterday, and possibly the flights are ready uh, from Delhi and Mumbai to go to Kiev and uh, the Karakhi areas mm -hmm. to bring them back. But a lot needs to be done. Needs to be done. I also want to understand, sir, on one side you are asking the Prime Minister to bring back those students. So is IMA also setting up some sort of help desk to uh, cater to the medical uh, students or the uh, people from the fraternity who are stranded in Ukraine right now? We are closely watching as it is unfolding. Hmm. And surely we will do whatever is needed for our medical students because that's what is Indian Medical Association for. If we need a, uh, to establish a help desk, we will start that also. And we are closely watching and monitoring and also are in touch with uh, the students who have come back or are stranded there. Right. Thanks a lot for speaking to India today. So that was Dr. Anil Goel of the IMA. Now IMA has already written a letter to the Prime Minister urging him to bring back the medical students stranded in Ukraine. And they are also concerned about this situation, the way developments are unfolding in Ukraine, especially in the Kharkiv area where thousands of medical students from India are stranded at different metro stations. With video journalist Abhishek Singh, this is Amit Bhardwaj for India Today from Delhi.